Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. When I'm getting up after a couple times of moving myself to find new places to put myself down to rest so that I am not molested and my property is not vandalized, it's always quite the test. This morning, again, I have found that the people of this community have been participating in vandalizing my property. For some time now, they have been attacking my bungee cord. I have one marvelous bungee cord that I purchased from a home goods store in a impoverished community. And as you can see at the bottom end of it, someone has been cutting that bungee cord down to a thickness that's usually about a half inch thick down to one strand. They've marvelously done that on both ends. And openly, it is a form of attack. It is a form of vandalism. And it's really not their right to do that. And it wasn't their right to cut my beard for my faith either. You see, people who do that always think that they're going to get away with that until someone who knows about it realizes and recognizes that they have aided and abetted or abated the law. And what I mean by aided and abetted, that they've aided and abetted that attack or they've abated the law with someone's help. And usually at that point, those people go, you know, I don't want to be involved in this at all. But I don't want to go to jail for someone else's stupidity or their foolishness.